Hello everyone, Wox here, and welcome back to another episode where I try to create my perfect world. In the last episode, we created all of that. And then someone pointed out to me, Cal wants pizza, that I did not pay attention and I missed it even in editing. I almost burned down my building again. Like, did not notice that at all, but Cal left the, it in the comments asking if I even paid, if I even noticed it. And, um, nope. Didn't notice it at all. Ah, uh, that can stay like that. It's probably going to bother some people, but it won't bother me. So let's finish <laughs> fixing this again. Is it this one? Yep. Is it all of them? Nope. I just can't believe I almost burnt down the building again. Actually, I can't believe it. It is me. But in today's episode, we are going to get, we're going to start automating some slime balls. We're going to start automating some slime balls so we can use it for magma cubes and all of that. I will show you what we're going to be doing. So that moose has been there for a while. And then we have these two over here. I don't know. I forgot what you are. are. You a wildebeest or something like that? I don't know if these two are fighting or making some uh, sweet moose love. But they, they've they been there for a while. And all you keep hearing is these moose moans. So I just left them alone. Leave them to their private their privacy. But as we're over here, let me show you what we're going to be doing. We need to get obsidian. To get obsidian... Oh, wrong one. We need to get magma blocks. To get magma blocks, we need magma cream. To get magma cream, we need slime balls. And blaze powder, but we have that at our home with the blaze farm. But to get slime balls, we're going to do it the dough and lime dye route. This is what we're going to do. So we need white and green dye, which is going to come from cactuses. It's this whole process we're going to be doing. We're also going to need dough, which is water and flour. So we're going to have to go from wheat and seeds all the way to flour, but also at the same time, cactus. What are you doing over here, guy? Huh? What are you doing over here? I'm talking to you. So we're going to do it the easy way. I'm going to build a farm of a tower, and then we're going to decorate that. But we're going to start with this one first. So what I have under here, where's my pickaxe? Why is it so out of place? So much stuff. So I have some water wheels under here. Since that's usually what I do everything out of. Eventually we'll do the... Uh, what are they called? The boilers. But I just threw six water wheels down here. Overkill? Probably. Do I care? Not really. And I brought it up through here. It was coming up right here, and that's not center, so I just used some gearboxes to bring it over here. Which we have it here now. Okay. But what we need to do is, first things first, I need dirt. Dirt. Fill in this section. And I want to fill this section in so I can figure out where um, this harvest or the, I don't want you. Yeah, the harvester is going to go. If you guys want like a tutorial on how I'm doing most of this stuff, just let me know. I could always create those. But I didn't figure, I don't know if you guys really want that kind of playing. So what I want to do is let's take some radial chassis. Uh, I need that. So we're going to go up 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Ow. At this mark, 
I want to take the linear ones and go out, what, six? What's this? One, two, three, four, five. We'll go out five. Did I, I didn't super glue it. Yep. Didn't super glue it. Where's my, we're going to throw you over here. I need super glue. And I'm almost out of that. Oh, got it. That might be too fast for sure. <clears throat> but what I want to do here, we're going to put some super glue on that. I want to take a plow, which, do I even have a plow? I need one plow. So with the first layer done, I did get a plow just to see, and this is where it's all going to be. So I don't want any more in there. We need to go up two. Then let me, I'll take another chassis. Is that how I want it? Yep. And we're going to go over. That's not what I wanted. Okay. So the first two rows are done. Minus putting the harvesters on. I don't know how to take that off, but putting the harvesters on and the seeds in the ground. Next thing we're going to have to do, just so you guys know, I dug down here so I can get to that and slowed it down. We need to head back to our original base because I need to grab a few things like sand and cactus because this top row is going to be sand and cactus. So we'll have, well, we're going to have cactus up here. We don't really need the water, the lights and all that stuff, but we'll have the cactus up here and then we'll have it all just go down to the bottom. You are a ugly fool. Just hundred percent. You're just ugly. I don't know the point of you. I don't know the point of you guys either, but let me get back and get some more things. So we can actually start getting this thing going. Okay, so we went and got the sand and the cactus. Now we just have to line this whole thing up with it. I don't think I have enough cactus or sand right now. I did not think about that. I just grabbed all the cactus I had at the other place. So we might have to not let this go into storage for a little bit so we can actually... Let it accumulate. I don't know yet, so we're going to find out once I get all this done. We might. It's going to be close. I don't know why I'm doing this right now, because I'm going to have to put the harvesters up there, or the saws, because cactus needs saws. Ouch. And you don't want to put the cactus here, because once it grows up, next it's just going to break off with this. Ouch. Oh, that's not cool. I just seen all that stuff get glued in. I had, I did have that in my inventory or my, oh, that's funny. But we need to get storage. So if I do, is it this way? Yep. Oh, I don't, I cannot stick that to that because I don't have any super glue because I'm a dummy. I'll be back. We have that all going now. I did go down below and wired up like a switch. We can close this off now. This is just for on off. Just so I can turn it off when I need it to be. I just used all the clutch and the redstone links and there's one behind here. I'll show you real fast. See? And it's on and I can turn it off whenever I want. If I go up here, now it's off. And also, when you do it that way, it doesn't destroy the crops or the yeah the crops, which is nice. Our next problem is we need to storage, bring in storage, because I'm starting to fill up those barrels. All it is is just two small barrels. So I'm gonna do that right here. So let's put another block there. Um, what do I do with those? This should come when it comes by connect. It's not going to go to anything because there's no storage on it. There we go. That's what I like to see. Now we got to figure out what we want to do with this. What we should do is have it come over into maybe like a vault before we split it off. Because we are going to split this off. 
I just don't know where yet. No, no, no. The building's going up in flames again. The building's going up in flames again. The building's going up in flames again. <laughs> Why? Why? You are blocked off. Why is there fire coming? Oh, Lord. <laughs> I don't understand. I have zero clue why this is happening. Why are you happening like this? I don't understand. We lost half our building again. <laughs> oh, I got to figure this out because this is not cool. I don't know why or how it's still getting out of here. Do we just cover everything in like in stone maybe? But that's quite funny that it keeps happening. Not really that funny, but it's quite funny. Like this doesn't do anything. Like this is perfectly fine. It's just that. Like why is this go causing everything to catch flames, but that is not. If you guys have any idea why, please let me know because I don't. All right. I got the power all situated out. We have one for farm, one for the belts. I have it over here with the rotational speed controller again. And now we're just going to run a belt. Do I have belts? I do. From here, somewhere this way. Because we're going to be using all of this space as well. Where's my shovel? Where's my shovel? Oh, it's in my inventory. Yeah, so we're going to be bringing that this way as well. This whole plat like area right here is all going to be just... It's going to go from this to slime it's gonna be a big process this whole area and we're gonna take a big old building and cover it but we have to get that far this would probably be i don't know i might make this a few layers tall i just want to get one layer just so we can actually start getting stuff which we have but these are the three things we have to deal with now so we have this coming out if we hmm Come this way. Let's see. Belt. Let's go this way. We're going to take our three items, which is wheat, wheat seeds, and cactus. And to get to the slime, we're going to have to crush the cactus, crush, mill the, or mill the cactus, mill the wheat, get rid of the seeds. We'll just bone mill that for white dye. And then mix the cactus green dye with the white dye to get this to get lime and then mix that with the water or mix the wheat with the water so our first thing we're going to want to do let's see if we go right here i'm going to take an item vault let me just move some of these over we'll use so right here we're going to take an item vault we'll do one there one there we'll give another space for the other one and one there. Move you down. I'm going to need three funnels. So do I have brass funnels on me? I do. There, there, and there. All right. Got some wheat. So that's going to go in that one. Now if we take like a another brass funnel and do this, will that make that stuff come out now? There we go. And that should fill up those. So I'm going to put that right there. And on the other side of this, I want a andesite funnel. Should have some of those. Yeah, right there. We're going to put this here because this is only going to bring us to the... Uh, we're only going to be getting green dye out of this one, so I'll just use another andesite funnel there, which means I need a funnel there and a funnel there. So here goes our dye, which is fine. We don't have power to that yet. 
which will be easy as well because we're just going to take some uh, gearboxes and throw it that way. Now this one, this is our wheat. So if we go over here, actually I can just use it here. Wheat in a millstone is going to give us seeds and flour. Ooh. If we take this, I want to get this millstone done right here. So if I do this, can I put a millstone right here? And will it actually work? Yep, that works. So then can I use the smaller one over there? We'll try that in a minute. So that does that. <clears throat> and if I do, okay, I want an andesite one for in. That's not where that needs to be. Now for out is going to be a whole nother thing. Because what I'm going to have to do, I need a belt for this. It'll probably get longer in a minute because this is just seeds, which we're just going to compost anyways. And I'm going to take this as well. Okay, what I want to grab is, do I have any? Yes, an item drain. Yeah, an item drain. Because I'm pretty sure things just go over the top of them. Now, if I use a brass funnel, and I want seeds on this one. So when it comes out, this will just come straight to this and come back this way. And then we can just compost it. So that will also be seeds this way, composting. I changed it up. I moved the uh, wheat to this one. So then I can just have it keep going in line. So when it gets over here, it'll grind if seeds come out. They're going to go up here to compost. Which then will go into here to make the bone mill. Then go into here to get milled into white dye. And sometimes light gray. We'll go over here. Mill. There we go. Goes into here, you get white dye and sometimes light gray. So what I end up doing... This is going to be our light gray, or this is going to be our white. I have light gray going down here into an item vault. Out of sight, out of mind, we don't need it, but I have it going through a smart chute. And then if we ever need it, it'll be down there. I did a 2x2 two two vault just so it doesn't uh, back up immediately. Now what we're going to do here, actually before we do that, let's finish this one off, which is going to be the wheat dough. At this point, I need to now, where'd my, are they in here? Wait, you can dye those? What? I did not know that. So can I go to white then? That's more pink. That's cool. Well, anyways, back to what we're doing before I get too distracted. Now we need all this down here. And for that... Now, if we go to wheat, do this, it'll get into the, we'll mill it, which will go down to dough and wheat seeds. That's what this is for. So this will come out to be, actually, I need to do another this, and we need to use dough, which I don't have right now. That's, but once it comes down to there, we'll get to dough. And we have to, we're going to wash it to turn it into dough. So we have wheat flour to dough, which then will come all the way down here. <clears throat> and we're going to have these two mix to get our uh, lime green. And then we have to mix it with this to get our slime. So we'll move this way down here. That's a long distance, but so be it. I've added the depots to the side so we can actually use a uh, mechanical arm and we'll just take them from there and throw them into the basin. So what you want to do with this is select that once, select that once, and then that right click that twice so they, that knows where it's going to go. I got to figure out how I'm going to get power to this. Again, one, one, two. We'll throw that up there. Now give me a small cog. Actually, before I do that, I want to create some lime dye. 
and put that on this so it knows what it needs to do. And then you're going to go, hmm, I need that to go into there. These might be too close. I might need to scoot this over one more. Okay, so here is the moment of truth. Let's go with this, this, this. Okay, that gives me that. I need to have a funnel over here. Actually, I'm going to do a brass one. Wait, what is this one? Wheat seeds. Okay. Does that do that now? Wait, why are wheat seeds going in here? Wait, what? Ah, crap. Messed it all up. Is that not moving? Oh, that is. I just didn't put a filter on it. And there's nothing here. Ah. Let me get all this stuff off again. I forgot to do the whole washing. Everything but that. It's like, ah. So I'm going to actually put brass on here. So I know it won't do anything until I want it to. We are done, I believe, so far, minus the first little uh, storage system. But what we have going on, this brings all the crops in, so the seeds, the wheat, and the cactus. It will come down here. This bottom one's the cactus, which will take it in here. It brings it to the millstone, which then grinds it down into green dye. The second one is the seeds, which then will take it over here, go in to get composted. And after it gets composted, let's see. Come on, finish it up, please. Well, anyways, once it gets composted, it goes into the millstone. Oh, wait, there it goes. Into the millstone, and then it gets ground down to either white dye or light gray dye, which then goes over here and sits on the depot. The light gray dye goes underneath it through a smart chute into its own vault, so I don't have to see it or deal with it. And then the other, the last one is where the wheat goes, which then will go to the millstone over here. And this will go down to, what's going on? It will get ground down. Seeds will go this way. The dough or the flour goes this way till it gets washed into dough. Oh, wait. That's, that's back up. I should probably put something in the middle, but I'm not too worried about it. It'll get washed into dough, then goes into this basin. And what happens, let me get him going again. The mechanical arm will take it from these two spots and then put it in here to make lime dye. It takes the white and the green, turns it into lime. That mixes goes this way into the basin, gets stirred up to make slime balls. We have infinite or infinity or all, what is it? Unlimited. There we go. We have unlimited slime balls now. As long as that's running, this is going. Whew. Now we're going to have to do a building around this. That's not going to be this episode, though. We will do the building next episode for sure. But. If you enjoyed this episode, thumbs up be greatly appreciated. If you enjoy the content I'm putting out, subscribe be also greatly appreciated. If you have any comments, concerns, or want me to do like a step-by-step -step tutorial of this whole thing, leave that down in the comments section, and I will get to all the comments. But until next time, have a good one. Bye.